Did you know every cell in your body has a receptor for vitamin D? And while vitamin D can be absorbed through the sun, it's generally not enough to support the optimal levels that your body needs. In fact, vitamin D is not a vitamin at all. It is what is referred to as a pro-hormone. It is one of the 24 critical nutrients needed for human survival, and yet, a large percentage of the population is not meeting adequate levels to support optimal health. This is due to several factors. Lack of sun exposure in certain regions of the U.S., increased use of sunscreens, and even the health of your gut. All of these things can limit your body from this valuable component of health. Vitamin D3 plays an important role in cognition, bone health, heart health, and immune support. In fact, the American Association of Clinical Endocrinology and the Vitamin D Council regard vitamin D3 supplementation as necessary to support healthy bone mineral density and reduce the risk of falls in advancing years. The evidence both from formal studies and clinical observations supports the role of vitamin D in promoting good bone health. The best health outcomes were seen in people with serum 25 hydroxy D levels of 36 to 40 nanograms per milliliter. Because the body produces vitamin D from cholesterol, some individuals may create a depletion status by decreasing cholesterol. Keep in mind, most people are not deficient. However, that does not mean you have optimal levels of vitamin D either. Due to the many health benefits of vitamin D, supplementation is encouraged if optimal levels are not present in the body. While there is little evidence for toxicity, many individuals are still concerned about taking too much. The recommended daily allowance for vitamin D is currently set at 400 to 800 IUs per day. However, experts agree this is too low for adults. Research suggests that the true safe upper limit is 10,000 IUs a day. For moderate supplementation, 4,000 to 6,000 IUs a day of vitamin D3 is sufficient to meet the needs of most of the population. This is the lowest effective dose range. Because body weight is a factor in finding an optimal amount, those individuals that are overweight or obese may want to maintain intake at a range of 6,000 to 8,000 IUs a day. Evidence shows that combining vitamin D3 with K2 is also a prudent step in how well vitamin D performs in the body, reducing concerns associated with vitamin D3 supplementation. Vitamin K2 is a fat-soluble vitamin that is found in meat, eggs, dairy, and natto. K2 supports the normal delivery of calcium to the bones and promotes healthy arteries. If you have more questions about your need for vitamin D supplementation, you should speak to your health professional about customizing a regimen for you.